stop all these siege tanks now, those drones really desperately trying to run for their lives. There's a team on gaming. Game 3 in a best of 7 series between VV Murder versus Gosu Huansing Murder spawning as the purple Terran on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Gosu Huansing spawning as the red Protoss on the bottom left. Yeah, so that's exciting news. More games, definitely. Uh, and this, again, as you mentioned, this will be game 3, not possibly the deciding game 4 uh, for Huansing. But again, we are going to be on these cross positions. No airplay coming into uh, play here. At least I don't think so. It's going to be quite a distance. Uh, but again, I really like Murder's TVP. I like late game TVP, especially where you've got the Ghosts and the uh, the kind of Archon and Templar mix going back and forth. The Micro with EMPs and and feedbacks and sort of that dynamic going on. Drops all over the place, warp in. So a fun late game. Hopefully we make it there. Uh, both players could get onto an easy second base, so we'll see what's coming from both players, whether it's an early rush or a macro game. Yeah, we'll see. Huan Sing, and really known for his two base pushes from what we saw last week. We'll see if he pulls an old trick out of his hat or if he decides to play a little bit more standard this time around. As even him playing standard, you can never quite predict what he's going to do. So even his standard play seems a little bit odd as Titan made comment of it last week. And now we do in fact see Huan Sing moving out with this red probe. We'll be scouting and first making sure that there is no cheese, making sure that there are no proxy barracks here in the brush before moving on out. That's a smart play for Monson. I mean, if you're a ladder warrior, you've seen all sorts of stuff, especially watching a lot of pro streams. It seems quite a few GM players are uh, very good at cheese. I know Ruff definitely uh, one of those players that can throw a lot of different builds, uh, some cheesy, some all-in-ish at you. So Wansin wants to make sure that he does not lose immediately to some sort of uh, you know, two racks in the weeds over there and just going to be uh, getting his gas up and running, getting that cybernetic score opening relatively safe here. We did see Murder is going to be walling off, working off one racks, and no geyser at this point. So might be going for that, uh, that racks fast expand as Murder definitely likes those big macro games. Yeah, I, I think it is definitely going to be a, a Rax fast expand here on Shakura's Plateau, and we'll see whether or not it really works out for Murder. We do see a Marine trying to get some damage onto the probe, and he was able to shut it down. So that early scouting probe has been destroyed, and that's really going to deny a lot of information as Murder now free to set up his expansion straight in position. You're going to see more Marines now being trained up as well, and perhaps a bunker will be added in just a moment. Wow, so just one Marine and was able to start that command center. So a very fast uh, expansion. And we'll see whether Wansin goes for an expansion himself. Just has the one gateway. He's got the warp gate tech uh, coming out. It's not chrono. He's saving a little bit of chrono boost. Not quite sure what for yet. Uh, but it looks like, yes, we will have that nexus. So uh, it's going to be a fast expansion for both players. And this is sort of the uh, the TVP metagame at this point, is the uh, the one rack expand, the one gateway expand, and then both players just sort of uh, charge up off their two bases and tech from there. Yeah, what I've seen a lot, or as a Terran player, what I've seen a lot is the the like one gate expand into a three gate pressure. And unless Murder has a lot of Marauders and Marines to try to fight this off, he's going to have a very difficult time. And he is getting three additional barracks behind his one that's already completed for a total of four. And we'll see how effective that's going to be. Um, most likely, we're going to see Huan Singh start training up a lot of sentries behind this so they can gather a lot of energy. And then sentries with a lot of energy are able to push bunkers and very effectively as they can push away SCVs that are trying to repair those bunkers while reducing damage. But I speak completely out of turn right now as Huan Sing now moving into a robotics facility instead of any additional gateways. I wonder what the follow-up is going to be here for Murder. He's got these four racks about to finish and he's got no gas. So he's not going to be able to get down any tech labs or... Uh... Her reactor is not going to be able to go for stim or combat shield or even a factory to go straight to uh, you know, medevacs. It's just going to be marines at this point. So coming out the marines four at a time, SCVs two at a time, but no gas yet. 
yeah, right now I would expect that he's going to double gas expand in the next 30 seconds or so, or, or uh, not expand, but double ex uh, double um, refinery um, build in just a couple of seconds. Otherwise, these Marines are not going to hold up very long, especially against the Robotics Bay. The Robotics Bay is being started, and we don't even see a factory, so Vikings are nowhere near in, in nowhere near the future, as we now finally see two refineries being added by murder. Yes, yeah, so we have a robotics bay being rushed by Wan Sin just off the one gate at this point. So basically reading murder perfectly. Wan Sin is he's off one gate and one robotics facility. He's got nothing else in terms of production. Unit wise, he's just got two stalkers and two sentries. We do see murder uh, reading the situation a little bit, pushing out these Marines. He could actually do some damage. Again, the production of Wan Sin very limited. The robotics bay about to finish, so he could perhaps chrono out one uh, Colossi, but Murder's going to be able to do a little bit of damage here with these Marines. Yeah, there are two sentries now, and those sentries are going to have to lay down perfect force fields as the yeah the Marines are going to be split up just a little bit, but I think they're, they are now out of energy. There's only going to be one force field possible. More Marines are going to be coming in from behind. The Colossus needs to be chrono boosted out, and it looks like it is being chrono boosted out. There's going to be about a 20 second window for these Marines to deal damage. A second sentry added, but the force field kind of misses as the Marines are now starting to push in and walking straight into the base, taking down some of these pro and this is going to deal a little bit of damage to Huang Xing's economy as uh, some of these pylons and some of these other um, buildings will get destroyed here. It looks like a Stalker may get taken down. No, the Stalker is just there to try to absorb some of that damage as now the Colossus finally coming in and this is going to be a problem. The Colossus does have a range of five, but it is getting focused down by those Marines. The Colossus is backing off up on that high ground and the Marines are just dealing a lot of damage here. That Colossus down to 15 hit points, five hit points. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is as the Marines now destroying all of those units there and only a couple Stalkers and Sentries left after that battle. Wow, so he was able to take down uh, a few probes there, six in total. If we check the losses, it's 1,100 to 1,500. So Murder trading well there. He only lost Marines, so only, uh, only mineral units where he was able to take a lot of gas from Wansin. He's able to get, I believe, now he didn't get a Sentry, but he did get that first Colossus. So Wan Sin's economy going to be hurt a little bit. And we do have Stim and Combat Shield on the way for uh, Murder. He's also coming out with Marauders. So once Stim finishes on those Marauders, they're going to be able to Stim in and focus down the Colossi mighty quick. Yeah, what we're also going to see is Murder now with that Engineering Bay getting the level 1 weapons upgrade and it, Murder really going into a very, very heavy bioplay, getting more barracks, uh, three additional barracks now being set up as well. There is one Marine over here at the 9 o'clock expansion location, making sure that an expansion is not being placed down as Murder has his third orbital command already up and running. He could call down mules or perhaps he's going to try to expand down into the center location but that would be a rather risky move. On the other side, Huan Sing now getting four additional gateways of his own, so he will now have five production buildings, and perhaps this will be enough to uh, deal with this massive bio army, especially with there are no Vikings in play as of yet. Yeah, so we do see the uh, Protoss player pushing out here across the, uh, the map, and a little bird just told me that it is uh, Huan Xing, Huan Xin. So uh, I know we've seen this guy quite a bit, and he's done quite well in the last two weeks. So should at least probably learn his name. So we'll get some sort of uh, confirmation on that after this game. As we do see the uh, Marines from Murder and Marauders pushing out here. Some nice force fields going down, but stimming up and trying to focus down. The one Colossus goes down very quickly, and the uh, the gateway force melting as well. So uh, Han Shin going to be losing his entire army here. And murder is quite low stim wise. Gonna be trying to focus down the remaining uh, few units coming in here. The stalkers will go down, and I believe the pylon will go down as well. So, protest aggression gonna be stopped at this point. The one class is gonna have to turn tail and go home. And both players sort of trading there. Not sure who got the better of it. Both of them losing the majority of their army. Yeah, I, I really think Murder got the better of that. He was able to take down two Colossi, able to take down that proxy pylon. Huan Xing also warping in units when I think that was just already a cut your losses and runs type of battle. He really didn't deal that much damage, especially against those Marauders and those Marines. That Stim turning online just at the right moment as we are now getting two additional medevacs and that armory. The Marauders and the Marines are already upgraded 1-1. One, one. There's double engineering base, one at the natural expansion, one at the main base behind the minerals so it looks like murder really really preparing to move into the mid game as he does have his third base up and running with three mules already online 
Yeah, not much of a uh, an army for Protoss either. It's just the three Zealots, the two Colossi, and the four Sentries. And it looks like Martyr going to scan and see that. We could have uh, maybe some drop play come in here to take advantage of the uh, the lack of army for Wan Shin. So looks like uh, he's pushing down here, going to be clearing his own third as Murder is up and running, as you said, on these three bases. Going to have a little bit of an advantage. We'll see what he does with it. Yeah, right now, Murder doing a quick scanner sweep on his own um, army, making sure that there are no observers there before he picked up his units for a drop. This is going to be very interesting as the Colossi are now moving into the midfield. The uh, Marauders and the Marines may be able to do a sneak drop into the back of the base, completely catch all of these probes out of position. Meanwhile, Murder is going to have a little bit of trouble as well as his expansion is going to be exposed. And whether or not Huang Xing tries to engage right now would be a key question. We are also getting double Twilight Councils, which is a rather unusual build from Huang Xin, unless he really wants Blink and Charge to, ha to research at the same time. In comes the drop. The probes are all desperately running away already, as we are now going to see a quick snipe of this, perhaps this Colossus here. The Colossus taking a lot of damage already, down to 27 hit points, and now continuing to run away. I'd really like to see Murder push the front door at the same time. Maybe push that Nexus as it's uh, warping in here. Looks like the Colossus is coming from midfield. Able to clean this up, so we'll see how much damage he was able to do. Looks like he was able to take down eight uh, probes there, and I'm not sure, if, did he get that one Colossus, did you say? Yeah, he did get the Colossus there. I think he over-invested trying to shoot that one Colossus there. As a Nexus quickly, it will warp in in the center. This medevac needs to get the heck out of dodge. It looks like Murder finally um, controlling that medevac pilot, telling her to get out of there. Not a place where she wants to be. As Murder now getting up a second starport, and this is really what Murder needs. The ability to train Viking and medevacs at the same time in order to counter the Colossi. But I believe Huang Xing will be transitioning into Templars in just a moment. Yeah, I would have really liked to see Murder push out there and try to force a cancel on that third. So often we see drops be very effective, but if you don't do something else at the same time, uh, you know, it, it basically makes that drop easy to clean up where if you push out and attack the front as well it makes that drop 10 times harder you can't warp in in your base you can't have those colossi come from midfield you need them at the front to defend against the push we do see murder pushing out here it is 181 to 118 and wanshin is uh the side cap at this point at 118 so he can't come out with anything we do have charge about to finish and uh that templar archives about to finish as well so i think that this is going to be a nice timing for murder with his opponent side cap 118 over 110 now, and these Vikings doing their best on the Colossi, which are stuck behind this Nexus. A number of force fields going off, going to be uh, making it so these Marines and Marauders can't fire from behind, but the one Colossi quickly uh, cleaned up there, and now we see a Manor Mule, and GG coming from Wan Shin. Murder is able to slay the dragon here, the uh, the boss of the ace of Gosu Gaming, and, uh, and basically sort of make it BBV have a chance here at 2-1 on Wednesday Night Starcraft. Yeah, so it is now 2-1, and just a really, really great game played by Murder. Murder opening up with a lot of Marines, and that was a rather strange build. He didn't get gas, as you mentioned, and he had four to five barracks. He was just pumping out Marines, and the sheer number of production buildings that he had really, I believe, caught Huan Shin off guard because Huan Shin was unable to... Um, unable to just block that attack and he was able to or he was forced to pull back his probes his economy wasn't nearly as strong he lost a couple centuries he didn't have enough force fields for that mid game and that really set him back in the long run